we are seeing price reduction sprinkle into the market more and more. We're seeing days on the market for new listings increase, and we're seeing interest rates have increased over the last uh, quarter. So needless to say, we are in the middle of a market turn. Hey guys, my name is Philip Nunez. I'm a real estate broker here in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button hit this little bell so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video. This is your mid-year real estate market report for 2022. We have seen some media outlets start to peddle some fear in an attempt to cause hysteria around the real estate market for the sake of clicks and views. I will not do that here. I'm gonna stick to the data and remove all the drama, so let's go. The elephant in the room are interest rates. Over the last quarter, they have increased somewhat, and it is having an impact on the market. It's estimated that around 10 to 15% of the buyer pool is no longer in the market. And yet rates have kind of tailored back a little bit. Currently, we're right around five and a half percent and we are towards the tail end of July. And just as a point of reference, from a practical perspective, every time interest rates increase by 1%, it will impact your buying power by 10%. So let's play that out a little bit. If you're currently approved for $700,000, if the interest rate goes up 1% to keep that exact same payment, you'll probably have to have a loan of 630. Well, a $70,000 Delta can be the difference between a different location, uh, the, a difference in square footage, bedroom, bath count. Uh, so it could impact your buying power. So just be cognizant of that as we move forward with this market. As part of my job, I keep track of trends in my local market every week. And I am seeing homes stay on the market longer, especially overpriced listings. Homes are not selling uh, at the rate they were in the last 12 uh, to 24 months. Over the last few years, if you overpriced your home, you highly likely were gonna get that price because the buyer was willing to pay that amount. That is no longer the case. Inventory has started to increase and I welcome with that with open arms. We need more inventory to fulfill the demand. And yet the California Association of Realtors chief economist, Dr. Yu Lawrence actually thinks that the shortage in inventory will persist. So we'll see. Home prices are expected to continue on an upward projection, not at the rate they've been going over the last 12 to 24 months. Now here's a slide from some of the top resources and their estimation, right? Now, I believe we can take that information and interpret it the best way possible for you. I'm a bit of a conservative individual. I look at that and I might cut that by 30 or 50%. So if they're estimating the average is 9%, well, you know, maybe I'll think it's four and a half to 5%, but I'll let you uh, be the judge of that for yourself. Now, here's an interesting fact that I do want to show a slide where it showcases that over the last six recessions that we've been a part of, only two of them have had a, a decline in home prices. Uh, the other four prices actually went on an upward projection. So you can see that right here. Lastly, here is the California Association latest data slide uh, for Southern California. Year over year home sales are down 27% and almost 15% year to date. Uh, over the last five months, homes have been on a decline. However, we see that inventory is increasing. So it's really an affordability issue, right? Interest rates are, are higher, inflation is kicking in, less people have the means to go purchase. So something is gonna have to give. We'll see what happens. The medium home price is 830,000. That is 8% year over year from last year. And months inventory is 2.5 months. That simply means guys that uh, if no other home came on the market today, it would take two and a half months to get rid of all the inventory we have. So that's still what is considered a seller's market. Anything under five months is a seller's market. So we want that number to increase. And it actually has increased over the last quarter. We were under 2% uh, earlier in the year. Now we're at two and a half and it's probably gonna trend upward. So we actually do want that to increase. We want more inventory to fulfill the demand. Medium days on the market is currently 10 days. So if you list your home, you can expect uh, 10 days before it actually sells. That's what they're saying, however, 
being on uh, on the ground and seeing what things are happening i actually estimate that to be a little bit longer than that but it all again depends on the condition of your house and the price you set for it and how you market your property now the list to sell ratio is at 101.5 percent that simply means if you list your home uh, on average you're going to get an extra one and a half percent higher than your list price um, and this is interesting because if you were to see my last quarter report that was at 103 and a half percent so it's reduced by two percent so you can see how the market is slowly uh, beginning to change and again guys this is where having the right professional to help you to maximize and get top dollar for your home is important so if you are a buyer this is the time you've been waiting for inventories beginning to increase so there's uh, more options for you to purchase interest rates are still historically low five and a half percent that's a that's a good rate compared to uh, decades in the past and as homes stay on the market a little bit longer that creates leverage for you to negotiate a better price in terms now for you sellers we're still in a seller's market as i just mentioned uh inventory is less than three months uh, worth of inventory so you're still going to get top dollar for your home however here's four things that you have to do in order to make sure you get top dollar. Number one is price it correctly. Be aggressive. Price it what we call event pricing, which will attract qualified and motivated buyers. Number two is make sure you take quality photos and videos for your home. That is really important. Number three, make sure that your house shows as good as your photos and your videos right when people come it has to look like what it looked like on the photos and lastly make sure it's easy for a potential buyer to come and see your house right make it accessible guys thanks for watching this mid-year report again if this is your first time on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate make sure you can call me Text me, email me, or send me a direct message through my social channels. Thank you. Have a blessed day.